Hello guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Lindsay and today I want to share with you guys classic summer accessories that will elevate your everyday outfits. So if you're interested, just keep watching. So let's jump right into the video and start off with jewelry. I meant to sit on here but Hello guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Lindsay and we'll be talking about classic summer accessories, sunglasses, jewelry, summer handbags, summer sandals, beauty. So if you're interested, just keep watching. So let's jump right into the video. I think I want to start off with jewelry because if I were to have just one timeless piece of accessory for summer, for sure be jewelry because although I will be sharing these as my summer essentials i feel like they are a year-round essential for me i love jewelry and it's a no-brainer that jewelry can totally elevate your outfit if you've been following me on this channel you are aware that i love the brand idol not only do they make some beautiful jewelry but all their diamonds are lab grown and they are a kind sustainable brand also what i love about their jewelry is they carry a lot of modular pieces so you can Style it with the existing jewelry like I'm doing right now with this ruby piece that I'm wearing with my idol, idol add-on piece. And the other thing that they also do is their pieces can be worn. Some of their pieces can be worn as necklaces and as earrings like the Coco. I have a Coco piece that I wear both as a earring and as a lariat. So I love that their jewelry is multifunctional. And yes, I like the multifunctional bit, but I love that they're also beautiful because if they're just functional and not attractive, kind of defeats the purpose. Although I'm working with them on this video, if you follow me on any one of my social media platforms, you are aware that I am constantly wearing their jewelry. It is part of my everyday jewelry and also, also pieces that I wear to elevate a nighttime outfit and my go-to brand for gifting what i like to do in the summer is because as weather starts getting warmer i definitely start having my hair up in a ponytail and i'm showing a lot of my decollete so this is a time that i really really like layering necklaces and also the time that i like to play around a lot with these kind of dangling pieces I've recently what i've started liking doing is adding jewel tones to my diamond pieces and i feel like the jewel tone pieces complement my diamond piece so beautifully currently i'm wearing the isa it is one of my favorite pieces from idol and i usually always wear it vertical but today i'm wearing it horizontal and it looks like i'm wearing a new piece so i've layered it with my ruby pendant that my aunt got me both the chains that i'm wearing is the idol gold chain which is one of my favorite gold chains it's 14 karat solid gold chain you can wear this necklace in three different lengths so i'm wearing the top isa with in the choker length and i'm wearing the ruby in like the longest length these are my usual summer jewelry all of the summer pieces that i like to wear i'm gonna insert a clip on of me wearing all of these jewelry so let's try on let me get the camera lowered down a little bit wearing the ruby earrings that my mom recently got me with the idol drop piece add-on piece this is joanne and the isa necklace isa pendant i think what i'll do is try on all of my idol jewelry because those are the ones i get the most questions about and what i also love about idol is the jewelry is so easy to maintain like they are tarnish proof i usually wear them in the shower swim aid so i'm not worried about tarnishing them which is really nice especially considering that they're fine jewelry and you don't have to baby them i like that about idol the one that i get questions a lot about is where is that guy the diamond stud so this is the idol diamond stud in the larger size that they carry i will try it on for you guys with the other add-on piece this guy again in the biggest size this is what they look like So let's go back in with the original diamond stud again so that's the other add-on piece this add-on piece is the Leah, which is one of my if i had to pick in terms of add-on in terms of either the jade which is this guy the one that i just tried on or go for the Leah. if you're just deciding on one i'd say go for the Leah because that's my personal favorite let me show so this is the Leah and that's the jade so if you're if you can decide between the two i'd say go for the leah 
so the biggest the diamond stud in the biggest size this is the jade add-on and that's the Leah add-on the one that's like a cheer shape quite stunning so I'm wearing wearing that when I'm going for a really like when I usually wear more casual stuff I really like wearing the shorter add-on pieces I did style these guys together it totally elevates my earrings so beautiful the biggest size that i layered with the that i added the coco add-on piece and this coco piece is what i can also wear as a laria piece so for size comparison this is the solo one and the solo three if you're someone that loves an understated beauty the solo one three my favorite i also have the solo five not i don't have it on me right now it is in the locker but I wanted to do uh, these guys together since I get a lot of questions on this size reference. This is the one and that's the three for size reference. Moving on to handbags for the summer. Let's talk summer handbag. So when I think summer handbags, I think raffia or canvas tote. This is not from the current season, but I feel like raffia totes are kind of timeless because they come out with this variation of the handbag every year it has the ysl logo closure here and you just loop it in i also love the long leather strap it's very easy to carry it on the shoulder although a small bag very roomy fits a lot inside mm, the interior is completely no slots except for the salaron logo cutie recently picked this up for me from amazon it's like one of these insert pouch so i can have it a little more organized but I've carried it without the pouch up until now although the navy is slightly more deeper somehow it works with all my summer outfit i think it's the tan detail on this and also i don't know how i would feel about a raffia tote that is in a lighter shade since i don't think you can clean these my recommendation usually for these kind of raffia totes is to get something that has a longer strap so you can sling it over your shoulders if the handle is short then you end up having to always just carry it like so or like this when it comes to summer bags you want to be hands-free i think it's so much more comfy i just love a shoulder bag because crossbody you can be hands-free but they tend to look really casual but with the shoulder bags you are hands-free without being so casual i don't know if that makes sense and you can still carry it like so a bag like this works with pretty much all your summer outfit it works seamlessly with dresses print solids linen cotton and it even works with when i wear blue jeans with a white shirt blue jeans with a tee tank top this still works if i throw on a pair of blue jeans white t-shirt a blazer and i throw this on it works so a style like this i feel is a classic timeless summer bag raffia bags are a classic i feel like every brand does this loewe celine chanel ysl i will link some current ysl totes in the description box below they're similar but just in a different color mm. and the other summer bag that is really nice and timeless are these kind of mesh bags and I have this one from Longchamp. I, I used to have it in both black and white, but I gave the black one to my sister because I feel like I didn't need both and she could use a mesh bag. This type of mesh bag is definitely more on the casual end. And currently I have these kind of like toiletry pouch that my mom got from Nepal. And I think it adds a nice touch of summer when I throw it inside because it's see-through. And the thing I like about the uh, Longchamp mesh bag is it has a long strap so I can sling it over my shoulder. And I think I've also seen a really mini versions of these bags out right now. I like this kind of like an off ivory shade with this tan. Uh, something about this kind of tan leather is a really nice warmer shade for the summer i know you can get these versions of these kind of handbags so you don't necessarily have to get a long shop one but i think the long shop ones are priced pretty well another essential for me in the summer is definitely sun protection so i wear a lot of baseball hats a lot of sun protection like bucket hats that are wide my favorite one is this guy it has the fabric on this is upf factor 50 so even the 
fabric of the hat gives you sun protection i can show you what it looks like in the backyard by the poolside if i'm going on a long walk this is the hat because i feel like it gives me a 360 sun protection and i've added the chanel brooch on here i feel like that's another cute way to wear these chanel brooches and i can get the cost per wear i believe this is a scala hat these are my most favorite hats in terms of sun protection if you're constantly outside in the sun i would recommend this i have this in all four shades the the olive the white the really bleached white and the oatmeal shade and a gray one that i can't seem to find it but i have all four shades and if you're looking for a neutral shade i'd say go with like this oatmeal shade instead of the stark white because this one can get really white this kind of oatmeal off white shade linen shade because it's a lot more wearable this is the second hat that i've gotten because the previous one i accidentally threw in the wash and it shrunk 36 dollars i believe yep it's called the i bought it from anthropology and it's it's called the crusher hat uh i think you can find it i think you can find this guy on amazon but i usually get it at anthropology and this is my absolute favorite hat my sister got me one last year from madewell this guy which is also really nice and it has like this strap so the hat stays on if it gets windy and it's the color that i like it's also structured and these kind of hats are so easy to travel with because you can just fold it and put it in your bag so which is why i really like this because i know currently the bucket hat that's trending is those mesh ones I tried a few, I tried some in Madewell, I like the look of it, but honestly not sure whether I'm actually getting sun protection on those. Is it more something that's like aesthetically looking good because the purpose of me usually wearing a hat is I want to get the sun protection. That's something that I'm very keen on. This is my favorite Yankee baseball hat. I love the shade of green, it pretty much works with all of my existing out wardrobe. So I decided to pick one from Ralph Ron Polo. I love a baseball hat. I wear it when I have to wash my hair. I love a baseball hat for sun protection. It also is amazing when I haven't washed my hair. It's like the perfect shade of green. It works with all my outfit. I mean, there's pretty much, there's, there's nothing much to say other than it's a classic wardrobe staple for me. I also picked it up in this shade because I have one with the green polo the polo monogram on that is green and cutie has just decided to take that and leave it in his closet so i've decided to get myself one ami leon doré hat uh white classic basic staple this one was a really nice find at banana republic men's it is a linen hat and this was a really nice find no logo on this except for this very subtle br if I'm wearing Chanel sandals, Saint Laurent bag, and I have a lot of logo going on, I don't want to wear another accessory with logo. So this is sort of ideal for a day I want to wear a hat without any logo. I love the shade of blue. It's like, a, although in a darker navy shade, I feel like it's a really good summer hat. This is such a comfortable linen fabric. So moving on to the next summer essential, definitely sunglasses. I mean. I mean, what is summer without sunglasses? First of all, sun sunglasses are a must for UV protection. It protects your eyes. You don't necessarily have to buy these expensive sunglasses. You can buy affordable sunglasses. You just want to make sure that they have UV lenses so that way you're protecting your eyes. Otherwise, you'll be just fine. Mm, I have a lot of sunglasses and I obviously won't be reviewing all of them on this video. If you're interested in seeing it, I will link it in the description box below. Mm, I think I did one like two years ago, my sunglass collection. So I just want to share the two new ones that I've been wearing quite a bit and the classic Jenna Monster one that I wear all the time. So I have been wearing my Chanel sunglasses quite a bit. This guy, I recently started re-wearing this guy again because I think it was a little tight here and I had it stretched out. So now it's a lot more comfy. I guess this kind of style is more current, slightly more smaller and not so oversized. I wear these tortoiseshell pairs quite a bit from Chanel. Uh, the other pair is also from Chanel, the one I picked up recently. It's this black cat eye skinny kind of oval ones. Also wear this guy quite a bit too, because these are very comfortable and they don't sit on my cheeks, so I don't have makeup all over my sunglasses. These two pairs are something that I've been wearing on repeat and the other Gentle Monster sunglasses that I wear Quite often is this guy because 
sometimes you just need a really large pair of sunglasses to hide behind because some summers you just want a huge pair of sunglasses to hide behind personally i've always preferred a bigger sunglass and i always prefer a square shaped sunglasses that's flat base and this guy is sal i don't know if they still have it but i have this one in a slightly bigger size it's called the her i know summer's just starting so i'm pretty positive that sometime this summer i will be buying another pair of sunglasses that's a given for me but i personally love a good pair of sunglasses i feel like they totally elevate your look you could be looking awful with no makeup on and you throw on a pair of sunglasses and you hide behind those big shades and you automatically look put together so sunglasses are definitely a part of my summer essential summer sandals i want to start off with this chanel rope sandal because i haven't got to wear it last summer i was in hermit mode and I ended up not really going outside so haven't got a chance to wear these babies yet but I will definitely be breaking these guys out this summer. These are the famous Chanel rope dad kind of sandals. I'm thinking of wearing this with white trousers, linen trousers specifically and maybe like white maxi dresses. That's sort of the styling option with these sandals and i honestly can't speak for it in terms of comfort because i haven't worn it so this will be something new i'll be wearing this summer although not a new purchase i bought this i think not last summer but summer of 22 finally going to be wearing it this year the hermes chipri chipri sandal love this guy definitely more casual a great alternative to this is the Birkenstock sandals. I definitely like my these Hermes Dad sandals. This is super casual, comfortable. Uh, I know I see reviews online saying that you need to break into these, but I had no issues with this. Usually throw these on with linen trousers, jeans, shredded denim. This is sort of how I've styled this. And I've also worn these with like very clean, black basic maxi dresses and somehow it works these are so old but my favorite works with maxi dresses trousers jeans crop jeans i think this would even work look cute with like capri kind of trousers and if you're wearing like bermuda kind of shorts or really short shorts i think uh belly flats is a no-brainer although they're on trend right now although belly flats are on trend right now i feel like they're a classic pair and belly flats are something you can start wearing as early as spring and go into late as fall wearing these so you definitely get the cost per wear with these guys if i'm looking for heel pairs this either one of these that i reach for i wear these or my sandals in the platform kind of heels very comfortable i wear them if i'm looking to get a little bit of height and want to be comfy or i will wear my dior sandals the canvas ones uh this guy i needed to break in initially when i started wearing these i thought they were not comfortable but once you break into these guys they are really really comfortable so these are sort of the if i'm looking to gain a little height but still be comfortable these are the two pairs that i go for flat shoes that i also like wearing is the chanel espadrilles in the leather i think i might actually prefer the canvas versions than the leather because i know the leather is more durable but i think the leather can tend to get very hot and sweaty in like really hot heat wave july but otherwise super comfortable and if you're looking to purchase uh the espadrilles i know the leather is more durable but i think the canvas is definitely more, a lot more breathable and wearable for the summer because in terms of durability if you get these guys wet or you are in the rain it's pretty much done because just because that's how espadrilles are just in general design and last but not least these valentino pairs that i got in 2021 i still love them these are my favorite wet sandals like i can wear them by the pool and i can continue to wear them outside so i love that about these pvc valentino studs i've worn these guys so much and i always wear this when i go get pedicure this summer i feel like this is the perfect shoes to go get pedi perfect pool slides and also great sandals to wear when it's raining i know people don't really talk about this guy but i love this valentino rock stud sandals summer accessories is definitely not complete without spf so my favorites are the coasters and I'm currently enjoying the Tatcha too. That I like to throw in my handbags are these powder ones just to top off my SPF. I like the Is Clinical SPF. It's really fine. You can barely tell. 
Mm, and the next best alternative is the super goop i like both of these for touch-ups on the go also another sunscreen that's a uh, drugstore i like to have these in my bags for touch up on the go although this does have a white cast but sometimes i just need this in my bag when i'm outside for long periods of time i like to have this in my handbag for the summer definitely the road lip tints are lip tints and the lip glaze and vanilla definitely make the summer essential cut for me got the powder nail and this kind of like a pinky shade still in the natural tone and i'm wearing in this like soft pink shades today it is definitely inspired by the road lip tint in ribbon also in terms of jewelry i i layered my diamond eternity band with the ultra human ring air and i think it looks cute almost forgot another essential i think is a silk scarf obviously you don't need an hermes silk scarf but having a silk scarf is a really good i feel a classic essential so i plan on wearing this summer as like a scarf slash cover-up mm. so any sort of kind of like this thin fabric silk scarf is a great summer accessory and if you have if you're wearing white and you end up spilling stuff on it's really easy to cover up with this so all packed up going to drop this girl off to my cousins and we'll be spending the night at my sister's apartment since it's closer to JFK. Also going to be doing a early dinner. Going to be catching an early dinner with the cousins. Really late, late, late lunch. Cousin and his girlfriend that's also going to be babysitting Timo. They are also Timo's godparents. She loves them quite a bit, so she'll be nice and comfy at their space. So this will be the start to our morning trip. I just know that this is cheese. It's like, it's 6.30 in the morning and obviously you can see me because the sun's like right on my face. We are on our way to the airport and just gonna leave our car in the long term parking. We stayed at our sister's last night, went for dinner with a cousin and his girl, had a great time. We went to Yora. Yora, right? Yora. Yora. <laughs> it was really good Peruvian food and went for a really nice long walk by Yantri Park. We just got into the lounge, had some breakfast. It's about like 8.20 and we're boarding at 9.15. It was crazy. The lines were so busy. It went on. I think I heard one of the TSA guys say that it was like seven to eight thousand people traveling today. So it was super crazy. I recently signed up for the clear, which this is not a this is not an ad, by the way, or sponsored in any way. But I recently signed up for clear, and best decision ever because we were able to check in sooner. Uh, otherwise, I think we'd have to wait for like about like, I'd, I'd easily say two hours. So currently we're chilling at the American Express Lounge. Getting some light breakfast, getting some yummy coffee. The last time we were in Hawaii was like, I'd say eight years ago. And we went to Maui. We went to Maui, right? Yeah. We had a great time. I will insert photos of the last time we were there. I was looking at those photos yesterday and I realized I was a baby there. I feel so much older now when I look at those photos. But yeah, we're gonna make some great memories. I'm looking forward to some delicious um, acai bowls. I love an acai bowl. Some yummy poke bowl, some really good Japanese food. And also, I wanna try the spam, masuma spam thing that I didn't get to try the last time we were there. Yeah, that's pretty much it.